Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafts by the Bow for our Simple Sunday project. Today I'm going to make this really easy little gift card holder. It's not something that I've invented, it's, I think it's been around forever and um, it's just a simple little piece of paper or cardstock and when you fold it, it holds a gift card. Mine, this one has a little belly band on doesn't need to be a belly band, you can use ribbon, you can use paper, whatever works for you. But yesterday I was at a Stampin' Up! convention and part of our business training was our customer packets that we give out that might have a catalogue and our class schedule. And we were sort of tasked with making our bags a little bit more interesting and I thought that I would use this for my business card so that people who got one of the catalogues, they would open it and it would have this little gift card holder in, but instead of a, a gift card, I would put my business card in. And then they could take the business card out and use this as a gift card holder for themselves, but it would just be a different way for me to present my card. So let me show you how we're going to make them because it really is simple. The first thing you need is a little offcut of DSP and this is from the Let It Snow suite. It's one of the ones that has little pieces of glitter. I'm not sure if you can see this. And I chose this because it was a non-directional paper. If you make this with a directional paper, it can be a bit more tricky. You can see that if I'd had this at the outside and the pattern was meant to run lengthways, it would have gone the wrong way on here but I just chose something easy. So this measures just four by nine and we're going to score it. Let me just get my trimmer out. There we go. You can see that on my new trimmer, I've changed the way the blades go. I've got the scorer at the top and the cutter at the bottom because that's how my last trimmer went. And I'm worried that if I have them the other way around, which is how the trimmer actually came, if I have them that other way around, I'll end up cutting instead of scoring. So here's our little piece of DSP that we're going to score. And it just has four really simple score lines. I'm going to score it at two. I'm going to score it at three and a quarter. Four and a half. And seven and a quarter. And honestly, when you've got the paper cut for these, you can make them in just a couple of minutes. Okay, so I've got all my scores and I'm, I'm going to look for where I've got the two narrower scores and I'm going to make that into a mountain fold. And that's because that's the piece where the gift card will sit. And then I'm going to fold the other one up. I'm going to fold this one up on itself and you can use your bone folder but because I'm only using paper on this one I don't really need it and I'm going to fold that one over okay. you can make them in card and you could cut DSP to be a, an extra layer but for what I'm making I really don't need that okay so you can see if I stand it this way you can see how it goes so I've got this valley, mountain, valley, mountain fold. Okay. And then before I do any more, I'm going to round my corners. And I'm using my old Project Life corner rounder because that's what's here on my desk. Usually I would use my triple punch that has the little corner rounder on. Okay. And I just like how it looks with those corners rounded. Now. I've chosen at the moment to have this on the outside. I could easily have folded it the other way and had this as the outside. It really didn't matter. No. Remember that little mountain fold we have here? This is where our gift card will sit. So what I'm going to do, I've got the paper folded over and I'm going to cut a little notch in here. You could use a circle punch, you could, if you don't have punches, you could cut a little rectangle out whatever would work for you. I'm actually using my timeless label punch because it's just so easy to pop this in, make sure that you've got the same amount on each side and that 
the paper is only coming, or the card is only coming halfway down the punch out. I save that little piece because I'll show you something to do with that in a few minutes. Okay, so now we've got the notch where the card sits. But this is a little bit too small for a gift card. So I'm just going to snip on the fold towards the edge. I'm not going to go right to the edge. I'm just going to cut a little bit and it's probably about a quarter of an inch away from the edge of the paper. And that's it. Next thing to do is to put some tearing tape or some liquid glue. And I want these two pieces to stick together to make that little um, card holder. So I'm just going to put the tear and tape on this piece on the inside. I told you it was an easy project. Okay. okay. And I'm just going to fold that down. And that creates our little pocket for our gift card or business card, whatever you need it for. See how you just get that tiny little pocket there. It's maybe easier for me to show you if I put the gift card in actually. And it will just go in there too. Okay, so you see that just holds it securely as well. I did make one of these a couple of years ago and I, I put folded banknotes in. So you don't have to have a gift card even, you can put cash in as well. Okay, and that's the only sticking that we have to do because now the gift card holder just comes together and folds like this. Now, I did say you could put ribbon round. Let me just, this is the ribbon that actually goes with this suite. It's that curly, almost like yarn. So you could use just a little piece, tie it round in a little bow, and that's, that would be fine. I'm going to use a little piece of the matching DSP but when I was making cards last week, I have lots of these three quarter of an inch and half inch strips left. So I'm going to make a quick little belly band. And I'm, just, I'm not even cutting it yet or scoring it. I'm just going to fold it over like this, just with my fingers. I'm going to fold this one over and then I'm going to cut down here. Um, I'm just going to glue this a little bit. So let me get some Tombow. I'm just going to fold it over. I've pinched it quite tightly, but not so tight that the belly band wouldn't move off. I'll just hold that for a second to let the Tombow stick. Okay. Yep, that comes off easily enough. I am just going to pop the gift card inside as well so that you can see the finished project. And then you can see that it does actually fit inside. <laughs> oh, let me fold that back over. Oh, I should put it on the other way, I think, just so that it goes over there and I'm not catching the, um, the paper inside. I promise you it isn't tight, it just doesn't want to move. Okay, there we go. You could make your belly band go that way, the same as I showed you with the ribbon as well. Okay, and then just for a little embellishment, remember that little piece that we cut out? You could put that over the top like this, and then you could add, I'm gonna add a little snowman. I'm actually not going to use that piece, I think I might just put the snowman on like this, or I've got some little other scraps here that I've been using. You could put the little moose on. Oh, he's pretty cute on there, isn't he? It's a bit glittery for him, that piece. You can see I've been making a few of these. And he's pretty cute on there. But because it's got little snowman hats, I think I'm going to use the snowman. Yeah. So I'm just going to glue this little scrap on that I've got. And then I'm going to put the little snowman on too. I'm just going to bob a little bit of glue in the middle. I don't have any hats cut out from the punch. 
I only have the snowman, so that's all that's going on there. Let's move these pieces out of the way. Make a tidy space. And there you go. That's our quick little gift card holder. If you check on the blog, the craftsbythebow.blogspot.com, all the sizings will be on there for you. So if you didn't get a chance to write them down while I was doing the scoring and everything, just pop over to the blog and it'll be there as well. Let's find the old one that I had. Put that on as well. Just to show you, it doesn't have to be seasonal. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that quick little Sunday um, craft and I'll see you all again on Wednesday. Thanks everybody. See you soon. Bye bye.